Police officers of Reddit, what was your they could have gotten away with it if they had kept their mouth shut moment. I had a car pass me once. Passenger hangs the upper half of his body out of the passenger side window with his middle finger in the air while screaming, F the police. He had my attention for the seatbelt violation. I got behind the car and ran the registration. Registration is suspended, registered owner's driver's license is attached to the registration and his license is suspended. Registered owner also has two warrants for retail theft. I stop the car, and they both started with the free speech thing and how I can't stop them for giving me the finger or swearing, which is 100% correct dot 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 when I pointed out that I can. However, stop them for the passenger not wearing a seatbelt and for the registration violation, suddenly they got quiet. Driver got arrested for suspended license and his warrants and the passenger got himself a citation. The driver's vehicle got impounded. Moral of the story? Tell your passengers to shut their mouths. Had that guy not been a moron, his buddy would have been homeward bound. Ok so we had a DUI accident where a guy kept driving straight into the woods into a tree because his GPS was predicting a future street. He walked back to his hotel room and left his check in papers in the car. So we go to the hotel and go to his room and knock on the door. He did not have to answer. But he did. He was pretty clearly drunk. I ask him if he had anything to drink since the accident. He did not have to answer or he could have told us that he drank after the accident. He said no I haven't had anything to drink since the accident. And where I'm from you have 24 hour to report a property damage only accident. So it wasn't even a hit and run. So as I'm locking the guy up he tells me he's a lawyer. I told him I hope you're not a defense attorney. But in his defense, he was drunk. I was asked to help keep peace while two probation officers searched a guy's house. Before everyone gets upset, in most jurisdictions, you have to submit to a search of your person and your home if you're on probation. During the search, a po lifted the probationer's mattress and said monotonously, Wow! The probationer got upset and said, Yeah, it's Finn Meth and a gun, arrest me, I don't give a f. Turns out the Poe found a huge dildo, but after the guy opened his mouth, the Poe lifted the mattress more and found a bunch of individually wrapped grams of meth and a Glock 17. The Poe said that seeing the dildo was enough for him to ignore the mattress but because the guy said something, he kept looking. That guy's attitude and his need to open his mouth got him 10 years in prison. <laughs> know a police officer, but I do know of this house in my local village that was a notorious drug den. The police came to search the place but couldn't find anything. As they were leaving, the lovely owner yelled at them that they should have brought the drug dogs. So yeah, they came back a few days later with the drug sniffing dogs and found huge amounts of drugs hidden away. Absolute morons. Not a police officer. But my mum once managed to talk her way into a lesser fine for a traffic offence, but wasn't satisfied with that so managed to sass her way right back into the full fine. Sigh. Currently watching Live PD, and the guy told the officer I have caffeine pills in my back pocket gets them out puts them on the hood, everyone's chill. Dude then comes clean and says it's Molly and the officers look at each other and go do we even have a test kit for that? Other officer says no dude's face just shows he should have kept his mouth shut. Last night, a dude had a gun inside his house. I asked if the gun was stolen, he said I'm not sure I asked if I could run the serial number. He gives me the shotgun. Comes back stolen from a department store. He was arrested for possession of a stolen firearm. All he had to do was say no, I had no other reason than consent. A cousin of a friend of mine travels around the state to take in deadbeat dads. Gets to one place, a four-year-old kid is home, dad isn't. So the cop starts talking to the kid, making sure he's okay and such. After a bit of this, kid says to cop, want to see my dad's secret garden? Takes him to a closet with a false back, opens it up to see a small pot farm. 
Guy gets home to a few cop cars and a few charges. Not a cop but pretty applicable to the thread. When I was in high school I liked to park in parking spots that cars had parked poorly next to just as a F you. One time I was at a high school football game and a jeep had parked like shit. He was nearly halfway into the spot next to him and parked at an angle. I was driving a 98 Chevy Silverado, big old pickup truck, at the time and I had my brother help guide me into the spot so I was perfectly in the lines. That made it so the driver door was completely impossible to get in. I took a picture for the novelty of it and went on my way. When I got back to my car the jeep was gone and every panel on the passenger side of my car was keyed. There was an officer nearby so I told him about it and showed him the picture. He told me there's not a lot they could do because there were no witnesses but he'd give it a shot. He looked up their license plate, called them and asked them if they had done it. They confessed and ended up having to pay $1,600 in restitution along with getting a felony. I've had countless times where dudes give consent to search them or the vehicle and they end up having drugs. It baffles me why you would let me search if you don't have to, knowing there's some damn heroin in your calmo. I'm a nice guy, and I enjoy a chat. You'd be surprised how much this lowers someone's guard. Stood in full uniform, people will just start telling you things that could get them in trouble. Multiple times I had to tell people to shut up. It was usually petty things like where they hid their weed stash, that they'd got a bifter in their pocket for later. Not really worth the time and effort to deal with with how squeezed we were. One time a guy really got himself in trouble by effectively telling me he had stolen property on him. I had to act on that one. Not me, but my boyfriend. BF's working overnight when a guy comes through town doing tilde 35 miles per hour in a 25 miles per hour BF pulls the guy over and asks for his documentation, license, registration, insurance. Guy flips open his glove box, snatches his documents out and snaps the glove box closed super fast. BF laughs and says, what do you have in there? Guy gets a little sheepish and says, you know, registration, insurance, whispers, little bit of weed, and whisper. BF. What? Guy coughs and says, registration, insurance, and da. A little bit of weed. BF laughs again and says seriously? Can I see? Guy got a slap on the wrist for being honest and having a very small amount. Not a cop. I had a roommate in college that was no friend of mine. He got in a fight at a bar and was kicked out. He tried to go back into the bar and got thrown out again, but a cop happened to be driving by the second time. Cop told him to relax or he was going to be arrested. He told the cop to arrest him. Cop handcuffs him and puts him in the back of the cop car. Roommate then started banging on the window. Cop then recuffed him with his hands behind his back. Roommate's stupidity carried on for the next couple months. He was supposed to go to court over the whole thing, but didn't show up. Police showed up at his job, cuffed him and brought him to court. Judge told him he would have just received a slap on the wrist, but he now had to send him to jail for a couple days. He was scheduled to report to jail a week or two later, and he didn't show up for that either. By this time, he disappeared. I never saw the guy again. Not a cop but a witness. During college, my friends and I would hang out outside and smoke hookah. Frequently we would invite strangers who pass by to join or campus police would casually chat with us as they made their rounds. So one time a group of freshmen walked past and asked to join. After about 15 minutes the campus police car rolls up and the freshmen get visibly nervous, we tell them calm down, the cops are chill. As soon as the cop gets out of the car, one freshman bolts and makes it about 20 feet before the cop tackles him. We all clap and heckle the kid. Upon searching him, the cop finds a bunch of weed, then he says, you realize prior to running, I had no reason to be suspicious. 
I just wanted to talk to my friends over there. And points at us. The cop ends up writing a ticket and sends him off. Like and subscribe for more content. And remember to check out Reddit.